it. We are already two weeks in from that eclipse. Uh, the eclipse thing was April the 8th. And I made a video right here, right here in downtown Katy's two weeks ago on April the 8th about the eclipse that came through here. So we are now past that two weeks, April the 22nd, 2024. Again, downtown Katy's, Kentucky, historic. Some people call it historic downtown Katy's, Kentucky. And if you know anything at all about downtown Katy's, Kentucky, this is basically... Um, a multifaceted area for antique shops. I think there's like four or five antique stores right here in a row. And if you're really into antiquing, Katie's Kentucky is the place to come. So we are actually right outside the Pig's Tail ice cream shop. But it's actually more than that. It's an antique stop shop. It's a. Uh, it's it's the old hotel. Is that right? Yes. This used to be an old hotel. So. Um, now, what actually is the name of this antique place? This is the Katie's Antique Mall. Okay, this one is called the Katie's Antique yes. Mall. Okay, so this is, uh, there's so many different ones. That I was, there's Cherokee down there. There's Cherokee Antiques. There's many, many. There's the Purple Pig. There's many. But this one was called the Antique Mall. And this place actually used to be a hotel in Katie's. And inside, if I'm correct, there's a register inside. Yes, you can hear it. Actually. You can hear it? Yes. What do you mean you can hear the fact? When they do a sale in there and I've been painting the pig, I can hear the cash register. Okay, okay. We are with Gail Cannon. And Gail, tell me more about that. You can hear the old-fashioned cash register? Yes. You can hear it, the sounds it makes and the door opening and shutting from out here. So they used an old-fashioned, the, the, was it, is it the original old-fashioned? It is. It's beautiful. You need to go in and look at it. We will. We'll make another video about that. It's the Old Fashioned Cash Register. So, again, I am with Gail Cannon. And, Gail, tell me, what what are you doing? What are you working on? I'm working on the Pig's Tail Ice Cream Pig. Um, it has been here for several years, and it was peeling. So, I came in, and I'm giving it a facelift. Okay. So, but why are we painting pigs in the first place? What is Katie's known for? Katie's is known for our world award-winning country hams, uh, broadbent country hams, uh, put the pigs on the map and with their, their beautiful hams. So would you say that uh, almost every business in downtown Katy's uh, pretty much has a concrete pig? They do. And when did that start? When did, uh, when did all the concrete pigs start in downtown Katy's? They started a ham festival, and I can't recall the exact year that the ham festival started. And then they ordered the pigs. The city ordered some, and others bought their own. And each pig has been detailed to represent the businesses, and the kids love them. They'll sit on them, and they've, they've just become an attraction. Iconic. They've become iconic. Mm -hmm. Um, I believe 1975, 1976. I think, right. I think that's right. I, it was mid-70s that they started mm -hmm. the Ham Festival, which yes. is always in October. Yes. And so they've had, so uh, downtown Katie's has had concrete pigs ever since then? Yes. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to date myself. That's longer than I've been alive. So Katie's Kentucky has been having concrete pigs longer than I've been alive. Is that pretty much? Uh, well, it's. Uh, it's no, I actually don't know what year they got the pigs. They they came later, I think. Oh, they came but later. I'm not sure what year. I know some of the pigs that I've been repainting were dated 2009. Oh, okay, okay. But the whole concept started with the ham festival then. Yes. Yes. Uh, do you know uh, who who decided to, to bring the concrete pigs into that? Is there uh, any local folklore on that? No, I, I just think that the, that the city decided to do it. Okay, okay. And um, so you get commissioned to uh, paint the uh, for spruce up and freshen up the pigs? Yes. And how did you get into that? Well, uh, my friend... Uh, Jeannie Bodine owns the Purple Pig, and her pig was in need of repair, so I painted it. And her pig's name is Petunia, so it's purple and it has various colored petunias on it. And I've always been a local artist, but I never thought about painting concrete pigs. So <laughs> I've been affectionately named the pig painter now. <laughs> so 
But that's how I got started is I painted the purple pig petunia. And City Hall was watching me and walked over and then I've just, I've painted a few before then. Like I painted Main Street Pharmacy. I put that one in a, a lab coach and did uh, vintage labels on its back. It was a lot of fun. Um, we're getting ready to do the Cracker Barrel Pig out next to I-24. Uh, it's going to be a wooden barrel like this with her logo. It's going to be a lot of fun. Oh, how nice. Yes. Okay. I'm nice. And then you've got the mason jar down there. You're yes. going to paint that one bright hot pink, aren't it's you? It's going to be fluorescent pink, and it's going to have her new logo jar on it. Oh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. And uh, talking off camera, you said you already have four hours invested in this. Yes. The paint on here had to be removed. Then I had to wash the pig and everything. And you have to paint them when they're wet. Oh, you have to paint yes. them while they're wet. If you paint a dry concrete pig, the paint will come off. It'll it'll dry and pop off. But if it's wet, it'll sink down into the pig as it dries. Now, did you learn that by trial and error? Um, I don't remember how, how I learned that. But, uh, but now, is that with all concrete things? Not Obviously yes. not just the pig, but that's with yes. all concrete things. Yes, and then a good... Uh, a few layers of a nice sealer because like I said the children love these they're going to be climbing on them and getting pictures this is another picture opportunity during the ham festival you'll see the pigs with all the that's true I and adults that well I that's true I, I I have seen children climb on the pigs and yes. and take pictures with yeah. that so uh how many pigs would you say that you have painted in downtown Katie's That eludes me. I don't know. <laughs> maybe 15, 20? Um, 10 or 15 maybe. Okay. They're scattered up and down the street. Right, right. So, did, do I understand you correctly? Did it start with Petunia? It started with Petunia and, and, you, and you just got more pigs from there? Yes. And how long ago did you paint the pig for the purple pig? I don't know. <laughs> just many, many, yes. many years ago? And so, and then, of course, you said you said that City Hall is right across the street. It is. And then they saw that. So, mm -hmm. um, so I was being nosy. I was in your paint box, and uh, I, I noticed these templates, and you said that you actually made these. Yes, I made them, and then I can stamp in the details, and then I come back and paint them by hand. Okay, so tell me about your inspiration for the designs on these pigs, uh, on this particular pig. Well, um... Mary, who owns the Katie's Antique Mall here, she's wonderful. Um, she said, I want you to paint my pig. And I said, what do you want it to look like? And she said, I trust you, just paint it. So I was thinking and I thought, we're all about pigs, right? Right. So why don't I do pig faces for the ice cream flavors? That's lovely. So that's a, your own, obviously, unique idea. Yes, well, it's inspired by the internet. Right. But I, I still wanted to do So, that. obviously, you couldn't just go to Hobby Lobby and, and buy pig ice cream cone templates. No. You had to make those yourself. Yes. Because, uh, well, I mean, so, so you go beyond just painting. You are an artist in your own right. I mean, anybody that can make a template and work from a template has to be an artist. I want them to have one of a kind, things that are unique. So, do you are you typically given when you are commissioned to do a pig? Are you typically given the freedom to to do it the way you want, or do they usually have ideas of what they want? I recently did the Lions Club pig, and it's the next pig up the hill from the Purple Pig Petunia. Um, it was donated by a gentleman, and it was painted already when it was donated, and it had the uh, it had a, a lion's head painted. And it had faded it over the years, and the paint was all coming off. And the Lions Club president asked me to paint that pig and to, to use the same theme out of respect for that gentleman. So when he comes back to town, he'll be able to see his pig all fresh. Uh, so you just freshened it up then? Well, I, I gave it a little bit more of a flair. So oh, okay, I, I, okay. But I still stuck with the same theme. Right. And the other thing that she wanted me to do is she wanted me to make sure that I put We Serve, the Lions Club. That is their motto, We Serve. Okay. So it's in a big red heart at the bottom. All right. And, and you have a project that you're working on, uh, if I understand it correctly, where you are putting together a portfolio? 
Yes, I actually have a Facebook page called The Painted Pigs of Katie's Kentucky. And it's so new that it really hasn't got very much on it at all. But I, I intend on going around and then I do interviews for the people that have the pigs out in their business. And uh, not, not only the ones I paint, but the ones they paint. Some people like to paint their own pigs. Okay. And there's a lot of artists, you know, and a lot of good painted pigs. Okay. So, but I thought I would give everybody a shout out, every business here. because Whether know, you painted it or not. Yes, whether you just, just to recognize mm -hmm. the business and their pig, yes. whether you painted it or not. There's several places in the United States that have things that are unique that, that are painted out front in, in their downtowns and things. And I wanted us to have the same thing so we can get our cars out there too. So do I understand, uh, Gail, that you have already established the Facebook, but you just don't have anything on it yet? Or? I don't have anything on it. I just have one pig, I think, or maybe two on there, but it'll start, I'm going to start loading them up and putting them on there. And so, I'm, it's going to, is your Facebook is called the Painted Pigs of Katie's Kentucky? Yes. Is that, and that's going to be yes. your, the, the, the Facebook page, the yes. Painted Pigs of Katie's mm -hmm. Kentucky. So, even though you just started it, um, you're going to start loading up pictures and then featuring the different businesses, yes. is that correct? So, people can now go to it and follow it, correct? They can. And okay. It'll be updated as I have an opportunity to go through and talk to everybody and get pictures and things. And I just want everybody to be able to tell everybody a little bit about their business and bring some more things this way. Do you think that uh, if it grows big enough on Facebook, do you think that you'll ever like maybe make a, a printed form of it and take it into like like a booklet? I haven't really ever get that any thought. Like if somebody were really into photography, they could go around Katie's and, and take pictures of all the different pigs and make really nice pictures and, and put those in like in a book. They could. I would probably be a number one seller here in, in Western Kentucky, probably. Now you said that in your travels, other places are known for other things. So we have the pigs, the painted pigs, um, but what else have you seen in other communities? Um, there's a lot of other communities that are taking some of the old vintage buildings and some of the walls and things, and, and they're doing uh, nice picture, pictorial things on them. I think that uh, one of the ladies up here that's, uh, I think she's going to do the same thing, and I think she may have me to help her. And I think we may bring the children in and let them do the paintings. Well, that's nice. Kind of make it like we'll a... supervise it and... and pink, you know. Yes. Well, it's good. looking good, isn't it? Yes, it is. And you can't miss the pop... You can't miss the blue, can you? <laughs> what what shade of blue is that, anyway? What uh, do you call that? Mary calls it Tiffany blue. Tiffany blue. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. All right. It's about the same color as your shirt. Yes, yeah, kind of like a... Let me... Let's see. Y'all see my shirt that I have on? It's like, like a uh, turquoise. Uh, yeah, it's kind of like a turquoise. So, um... You have to make this lady right here. Okay? She does it. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm getting her... We're making a video, right? So, you're in my video. <laughs> so, uh, what's your name, sir? Ricky. Ricky. Yes. And Ricky, you like her pig? Yeah. It's pretty, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And look, did you see how she's putting pig faces in the ice cream? Now, do you typically paint the same thing on both sides? Or yes. you do typically? It'll maybe be different, you know. But well, that is very nice, I must say. Thank you. You are a very nice painter. <laughs> yes, she is. Um, so, like, so you do uh, m more times than not paint the same thing on the other side? Yes, I will definitely paint the logo. Some of the flavors may vary on the other side. And I also have to detail the hoofs. I will shade in the areas on the pig that need shaving. Also, we'll detail the eyes. Right, you're gonna date and the nose. Okay, so these are the, all the smaller extra details yes. then. Yes. Now, this is gonna be probably a black and white checkered floor. Oh! I think that would be good for a, for an ice cream shop. I think so. Like an yes. old fashioned black and yes. white checkered an floor. An apothecary type floor, I think would be beautiful. So, I think that will be nice too. So no, that's a. Uh, do it at an angle. It'll be black and white checkered. Now, do you typically have to spend several days, um, or can do you, do you, do you ever get one knocked out in one full day? It depends on the detail and probably the and, weather. And if 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 they leave it to me, and I have to think on it. <laughs>
<laughs> if they know exactly what they want, it moves faster. But if they tell me to do what I want, it takes a little longer because I have to think on it because I want them to have something that they're proud of and and. I have to use my imagination. Oh, uh, well, it looks like you certainly have. I like your idea of the black and white checkered floor. I like that. I think that. that'll set off the color. It'll make it pop. And it'll give it that old timey ice cream. I think so. I think so. Ricky, what do you think? <laughs> she does excellent job. Have you seen her other pigs? Yeah. She's been painting pigs all over the place. Yeah. And she says she's affectionately known as the pig painter. Yeah. Do you, do you like that label? That's You'll take fine. it, right? It was a bit odd at first, but that's fine. <laughs> yeah, okay, all right. Um, so, what are some of your favorite pigs of Katie's, Kentucky? Oh, I like I, I like each one. I mean, it was. Have you seen the purple pig down there? Yeah, and you yeah. like the she she painted that one. Yeah, I like all of that. Okay, all right. Are you a long time resident of Katie's? Uh, well, I've been here the last four years. Oh, you've been here four years. Yeah. Okay. And so, have you gotten used to seeing all the concrete pigs here? Yeah. yeah. We're kind of known for that here in Katie's. Yeah. All right. Well, um, I really appreciate you being in my video. Yeah. Uh, you didn't know that you were going to walk into an interview, no. did you? <laughs> no. So, uh, when we get, when I stop filming, I'm going to tell you all about my channel, all right? When okay. I stop filming. So, if you want to stick around for a minute. Yeah. Um, so, have you actually done any on the other side yet? I have not. Okay, you so... You can actually see what it looks like before I do anything So, else let's see. Been. Okay, so this is, you call this Tiffany Blue. And, uh, so she, this is kind of what she started with. What she already has, she will have this side to do. And she's got a beautiful day to do. It's very beautiful. Very beautiful today. So, uh, I can see the pores, the concrete pores. And you said that that's why it has to be... Uh, paint it while it's wet. If when you paint it and it's wet, it pulls the paint down into the pig. Okay. And you have to brush it. You cannot spray paint these. Oh! It'll sit on top and peel off. Is that right? It has to be brushed. Now, again, is that something that you have learned from trial and error? Have you tried to spray paint them? Or no, you just know from no. uh, trial and I mean, you just know from experience on painting other yes. things. So that's a general rule about concrete is you, yes. you can't spray paint concrete because of how porous it is then. Okay, and let me just kind of show you show everybody the ice cream. Look at that. She's got pig face ice cream, look at that. And then I'm gonna step behind you and again, look at the details, that's amazing. Now, uh, before we wrap this up, tell me, uh, again, uh, we talked off camera that you not only paint, but you also do tattoo work. Yes. You want to uh, talk to me about that? I am a permanent cosmetic artist that I also do regular conventional tattoos. I've been doing that. I was actually the first tattoo shop in Tree County. I made the paper. I had a color picture in there. That tattoo girl was the name of my business. And I continue to do, uh, I do eyebrows and eyeliner and lips and things of that nature. And plus I do just regular tattoos as well. And how long have you been doing that? Um, since 2009. And how did you get into that? Well, um, I lived in Florida for a few years and I worked as a, I was a manager at Saks Fifth Avenue. And it was really hot in Florida and I went and got permanent eyeliner. One day, uh, I just decided as a hobby, I would try to learn how to do that. <laughs> so, okay. Um, I've been doing permanent makeup ever since. So, do you mind? I'm putting you on the spot here, but could you take your glasses off? Could we look at some of your um, eye makeup? Could we do that? Since you, now, obviously, you didn't do yourself. Obviously, I did. Oh, you did do yourself. Okay, so I'm gonna, I, well, I'm just gonna zoom in on your face. Okay, and so your eye, your eye makeup is uh, is permanent. Now, what happens if you? I mean, obviously, you have to make the right decision on the colors because if you you don't like the colors, then it's permanent. Yes. So, is there a lot of thought that goes into that about? Uh, well, actually, um, there's a thing called a Fitzpatrick chart. And that tells you if you're blonde and fair or if you're dark and olive and such. Certain okay. colors um, work best on certain things. Like you cannot use pure black on dark skin. If you do, it'll pull blue. Really? 
So you always use a brown black on dark skin and then it, it heals in black. Okay, okay. And now the same with olive complexion. It'll pull green. So you have to know what colors work best on which skin. And you you've got that. You have to respect that, the person. You've got that all figured out yes. then. And you've and done. You can use black to have a really dark eyeliner. Or you can use a gray. Or you can use a brown black. I don't recommend brown eyeliner. Brown eyeliner you look like you have the flu it gives you rabbit eye oh wow i just say no i won't do that because i don't want you to look sick right right exactly <laughs> I want everybody to look healthy and beautiful and happy so is that kind of I, I have to ask i mean is, is isn't it kind of scary to tattoo somebody's face isn't that kind of scary it is especially when you first start because the, the the thing you have to do is you have to respect the person at all times no matter what and there's certain ways that you hold things, and there's certain ways you have to expect somebody to jump. Right. My instructor would go around kicking your chair, grabbing you. He didn't want you to be jumpy. He taught you to lift your hand. Okay. So, nobody's got me yet. Okay, 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 that's great. So you obviously have to like what you do in order to do something like yes. that. I like making people happy. You should see how happy people are when they get new eyebrows and new eyeliner. That's amazing. That's amazing. So I have to ask, I, I mean, it goes without saying, in your line of business, do you have, have you ever had anybody regret getting um, makeup tattooed? Of course, it's not your responsibility. That's on them. But, I mean, have you ever no, had anybody think, regret it? I think that I always... I always talk to everybody before we do it. And the other thing I do as a safeguard is I draw their makeup on them. I draw it on with a pencil, a permanent marker in the right color. I let them see what they're going to look like before they get it. Oh, okay. I don't want them to have any surprises. Right. Well, that makes sense. Uh, and I'm assuming that you probably have a very satisfied customer base. Yes. Thankfully, and I'm very, very humbled. Are there any other uh, tattoo artists in Katie's? Or, or are you it? Yes, yes. There's a blue horse tattoo. It's out at the, it's west of Katie's here. Um, they're friends of mine. He's wonderful. He does beautiful work. Okay. He and I had a race to see who was going to get to be the first tattoo shop, and I beat him. Oh, is that right? Okay. Well, that's amazing. But, like okay. I said, they're wonderful. Okay, so if you're not tattooing and tattooing makeup, then you are basically, I was going to say tattooing the pigs, but you are painting the pigs. Um, and so you get a little enjoyment about um, through all these different varieties of artistic expression. Yes, I love doing this. I, I also do portraits. I do portraits of people too. Oh, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you have endless talent. You have talent I with had, no end. I had a wonderful art teacher and I always give her credit. Okay, what is the name of your art teacher? Her name is Peggy Thomas Kemp. Peggy Thomas. Was she a teacher? Yes. Um, in the, um, Peggy Kemp. Uh, yes. Was she at Hopkinsville High School? Tree County. Oh, Tree County. Mm -hmm. Okay. She's wonderful. Okay. She, it, she will teach you how to see what you're painting. Okay. And you can look at something and you still might not paint it or you might not draw it. You have to draw what you see. Okay. And I didn't understand that until we were... Uh, drawing these barns in a field one day with charcoal and I had a really good start on mine I thought and she came by and she put her hands on her hips and she said what are you doing <laughs> and I said I'm drawing that barn she said no you're not I said yes I am and she said you're drawing the front of the barn where are you sitting I said oh I was sitting on the side she said you're not drawing what you see you're drawing what you think you see that's amazing so she was teaching you Point of pers point of view perspective. Yes. She taught me how to see what I was doing. And her name is Peggy Kemp. Peggy Kemp. Okay. And it, it, does she still actively teach art, or? No, she's retired now. Okay. You're a long time Katie's resident. Yes. Were you born here? I was. I was born in Tree County Hospital, just up the street. Is that right? Yes. So your heart is your your work is here in Katie's, and your heart is here in Katie's. Yes. That's amazing. 
Well, I appreciate your time. Again, we're talking with Gail Cannon, um, uh, affectionately known as the Pig Painter of Katie's Kentucky, and I really appreciate your time, Gail, and um, I look forward later to coming back and seeing the, uh, the black and white checkered and all the extra details, because I've kind of interrupted your work here. I basically saw you, and I'm like, I gotta talk to this lady, so thank you so much. I appreciate it, and I'm looking forward to seeing the pink pig down there at the mason jar. I'll, I'm looking forward to seeing that, and um, so we're going to talk to people to get them to go to the very new Facebook page called Painted Pigs of Katie's Kentucky. Yes. So new that you still have to get some things up it's there. under construction. Under construction. But yes. we're going to tell people to go there now and to be, uh, make it on their friend now. The Painted Pigs of Katie's Kentucky. So let's take one more look at this awesome talent. And um, again, I'm talking to Gail Cannon. Gail, thank you so much for your time today. I really appreciate it. Thank you for stopping by. Yes, ma'am. And you have a wonderful, lovely day finishing. Are you going to name this pig, too? I don't know. Does the pig have... Now, now, the one at the purple pig is called... Her name is Petunia. So, does this one... Does this pig have a name? Sometimes I name them. Oh, sometimes you name them. So, maybe you'll have to name this one. And maybe we'll find out later what this one's All right. called. All right. Well, thank you so much. Thank you.